all of the speakers, uh, especially our dissidents, who would like to come forward. We're going to read the Geneva Declaration of Internet Freedom. So all our dissidents who were speaking and other speakers who had, who had appeared on the podium, if they would like to uh, join us uh, behind the podium as we read it out. Uh, and all our NGO organizers, Jibril, uh, Paula, if you're here, I'm not sure if you're here now. Uh, all, and John is here. They've all come forward and we're going to read the Declaration on Internet Freedom as we're all gathering. And Alfred, please come forward. Cindy, come on up too. Um, as, we, uh, as we gather on the podium, I want to thank all the volunteers for their dedicated work, uh, uh, which has really been incredible. Uh, I also want to thank uh, the translators, the interpreters who've done such dedicated work as well. I deeply appreciate that. I'm going to wait here until we get more of our speakers and NGOs up on the panel. One second. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Bethany and Nadia, why don't you come on up as well? So we should have the speakers here in the first, uh, first row. Yeah, anyone who spoke in the first row, maybe NGO is right behind them, or, or we'll have enough here. It's fine. Okay, that's all right. Okay, somehow, somehow, somehow. Will you be able to put the text on the screen? The text is, uh, on the, is now up on the website. Um, on GenevaSama.org under media, you can find it. Hannah, if you could just come here for a second, I want to speak to you for a second. I'm going to read the declaration, which is uh, adopted by human rights defenders and civil society representatives in just a moment. The uh, signatories' names will appear uh, on the website, and you can see it now under GenevaSummit.org. We, human rights defenders and representatives of civil society from all regions of the world, having assembled here at the Second Geneva Summit for Human Rights, Tolerance, and Democracy, guided by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which guarantee the, guarantees the right to freedom of opinion, believing that preservation of a free internet is essential to the full enjoyment of human rights, civil liberties, and a free and democratic society, Alarmed that the situation of internet freedom in many regions of the world is increasingly perilous and under assault. Recalling the proposed 2008 directive of the European Parliament, in particular its finding that authoritarian states such as Belarus, Burma, China, Cuba, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Tunisia, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Vietnam censor the internet by blocking websites, filtering search results, and intimidate internet users through cyber police and obliged registration. Decide to hereby adopt this Declaration on Internet Freedom in Geneva, Switzerland, March 9, 2010. I'm going to read now a few of the articles, not all of them. Uh, and if any UN Watch staff is not up here, please join. Uh, everyone has the right to equal access to the internet, regardless of race, religion, ethnic, or geographical origin. Everyone has the right to the free flow of information and freedom of, of expression without fear of discrimination. Any attempt to restrict, intimidate people from free, uncensored, secure access from the internet constitutes a fundamental abridgment of human rights and undermines the promotion of peace and world order. We urge the United Nations Human Rights Council to endorse this declaration and support the cause of internet freedom in the face of oppression, urge all other relevant UN and international bodies to endorse this declaration and support the cause of internet freedom in the face of oppression, urge all like-minded supporters of freedom, human rights, and democracy to adopt similar declarations, resolutions, or other statements to support the cause of internet freedom in the face of oppression and urge that these be submitted to the United Nations. Uh, last but not least, if Hannah is here, uh, Ariel, if you could come forward. Uh, all of us uh, owe such a great debt of gratitude to everything that you, Ariel Herzog, have done to make this event possible for the past year. Alfred, if you please come to the podium. Alfred Moses, the chair of UN Watch, will present a small token of our appreciation on behalf of everyone to Ariel Herzog. Okay.
Ariel, I had the opportunity to speak first and now last to express on behalf of all of us our appreciation for what you've done over the past year in, in organizing, arranging, enslaving to produce this conference. Slavery is outlawed everywhere except in Geneva, <laughs> most particularly at UN Watch. You have been a virtual slave. We're enormously indebted to you. And we don't have a small token for you. We have a big gift for you. <laughs> Thank you again, Ariel. Thank you, all of our speakers, uh, all of the organizers, and everyone who's participated these past couple of days and those watching from around the world. Thank you so much, and perhaps, uh, hopefully, see you next year at the third annual Geneva Summit for Human Rights. Thank you all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to announce it? Go ahead. Uh, uh, Jabril would like to announce a demonstration. Uh, I would like to announce a demonstration ra going right now in front of the UN uh, building. So it will might take maybe a few minutes and then it will be over. Just it is uh, freezing cold outside, so people will have to be aware of that. And thank you for joining us.